Hello everyone and welcome to Design for 3D Printing. Today we're going to talk about how to eliminate supports in basically any design that you have by designing the part so that it just doesn't need them. So with this generic piece here, uh, you can see we actually have a 90 degree overhang on it. And this is very common. Sometimes in boxes or any other type of part, you might have some sort of feature that needs to stick out the side. Now, normally, when you create a part like this and have it 3D printed, you have to have a whole bunch of support underneath it in order to keep it uh, up in the air as those first layers of the overhang are printed. And this can add a ton of material to the cost of the part as well as a ton of additional processing. So it'd be great if this support material just wasn't present. So what can you actually do in order to hit that? Well, the first option that most people go to is to add a fillet. And a fillet is fine, um, except for the fact that it doesn't actually eliminate support completely, because a fillet still goes to perfectly horizontal once it's created, which will still create some amount of material. It's less support material, but that very tip of the fillet will need supported because it is a perfectly horizontal surface, which is not ideal for FDM production. So if you're going and to use fillets, uh, make sure that you actually take them all the way and do the first initial large fillet that fills in the corner, but then also round out the tip. That way you have no support whatsoever. And you have a nice, clean, continuous part that looks really nice, looks really clean, and has no support at all. However, fillets are still less than ideal because you either have to have this very large outer fillet in order to blend this curve, or you make this too small and then this curve comes out and it slowly becomes so steep that it is more difficult to manufacture than other options. So if you're really going for maximum manufacturability, you should actually use a chamfer. A chamfer is quick, clean, and you have a consistent angle all the way up interfacing between the two edges. And again, has no support whatsoever. Um, and if you want to, if you don't like the sharp edges of the chamfer, you can of course fill in it. But um, the question here now is, okay, what if the design does not allow a standard chamfer, a standard 45 degree chamfer that this one is? Well, you can go other directions. You can make it shallow or deeper if you have to. Uh, now, a chamfer as high as 60 degrees is generally fine with FDM, but it does introduce the possibility of failure because if the flow is not quite right and the cooling is not quite right, you can get warping on these really steep surfaces. So if you want to take it to the extreme of manufacturability, you would have this really, really steep chamfer where there's basically as small of an incline as possible. And that makes the part very robust in mass production if you're producing hundreds of thousands of these. However, if you, the design necessitates it, you can get away with just a small chamfer and this is still better than a very large fillet with, that would still need supported. So hopefully that covers it. Ultimately, this is what you wanna get to. This highly uh, steep chamfer, but if you have to, you can get away with a more shallow one and it's better than a fillet always, but ultimately all of them get rid of most of the support in almost every single situation. So that is how you eliminate support on a 3D uh, design. Let us know if there's other types of features that you'd like to know more about and how to optimize a part for mass production 3D printing. Have a good day, everybody.